Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Girl Brianna. Tech Girl Brianna is about empowering women through technology. So I just signed up for classes for the summer semester of 2019. I thought this would be a fun opportunity to go over my class schedule with you guys, especially since the majority of my audience is either a computer science student or, or trying to be a computer science student. So I thought, why not? I think this will be fun to just show you a random semester in my schedule. So let's go over my schedule with you. Since I am spending this summer traveling and I want to have the flexibility of still going to school, but also traveling at the same time, I decided to make the decision to take this semester online. Also, I just wanted to let you know that my schedule contains a lot of elective courses more than computer science courses. So if my schedule looks a little bit weird to you, that's because I waited to the last second to do a lot of those electives I didn't want to do. And now that I'm getting really close to graduating with my associate's degree, it's now time that I get those classes out of the way so I don't have so many computer science classes left to take. All right, so I am taking a total of five classes this semester, which is about 15, actually no, it is 15 credit hours. Um, and that's because each of the classes I'm taking are three credit hours each, so that equals 15 credit hours. So five classes during the summer is actually a lot because a typical computer science student takes anywhere between three to four classes and I'm taking five. Also, it is the summer semester, which means the semester is condensed. So it's going to be a crazy semester, guys. You're probably wondering why do I need to take this many classes? And that is because I'm just trying to knock so many out of the way before the fall semester. I want to give my last semester at the community college I'm going to to be a little bit easier. Well, it's not going to be easy because I'm still going to be taking two hard classes, but I wanted the last semester to be kind of easier so I can start preparing to go transfer to a four-year university. And because a lot of the classes are electives and it's just like a lot of studying and stuff like that, I was thinking, you know, it's not too hard. I just have to power through this. It happens. <laughs> All right, so let's go over my schedule for the summer 2019 semester. I just wrote down my classes here since I can't always remember everything on the top of my head. So one of the classes I'm taking is called Computer Essentials, also known as CS1020. So this is probably going to be actually my most easiest class. And that's because this is a class I was supposed to take in the very beginning, but I never did. And now that I'm coming towards the end of my degree, now I have to take this super easy computer science class. Well, I don't know. I think it's super easy when I read the description. You never know until you actually are in the class. I've had experiences in the past where I thought a class would be super easy and it wasn't. And also professors tend to get offended when you think that their classes are easy. But honestly, I think they should just take it as a compliment because I have so many hard classes already that they should be grateful that I find the class easy because usually when I say easy, it also means I enjoy it. <laughs> so this one is a three credit hour class and the course description that I'm just taking straight from the catalog says it's a hands-on introduction to problem solving using computer tools, basic hardware and office software products. Products topics are discussed. So it seems like I'll actually be learning a lot about like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and basic computer tools. And yeah, that, that to me, that sounds super easy, especially since I've done like object oriented programming courses before. And I'm just going to like back to the beginning. It's like, whatever, I guess it's like a nice little break, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll see how easy that is. And then the second computer science course I'm taking is an introduction to Linux class. Now I've actually already done a Linux class online through Udemy, and I think I've also done it through Free Code Camp. So I actually know quite a bit about Linux already, but I haven't taken the class in university. So, so this one should be easy as well, since I already know a basic knowledge of Linux. I'm not like, intermediate or advanced in it, but I'm so glad that I took that Udemy course anyway. So I'm not just going in and being like, what's Linux? I don't know what Linux is. I've never coded in Linux. Well, technically our MacBooks, or if you're using a MacBook is coded through Linux. So 
if you don't know what Linux is, you're basically touching one or touching a machine that is made by Linux. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, this one's also, it, this class is also known as CS1032. So it's also one of the easier classes I didn't take before and I'm taking now. So it's also three credit hours. All these classes are three credit hours, by the way. Um, this course covers fundamental Linux skills such as file management and manipulation, text processing, command line use, packet management, file systems, hardware, basic, shell scripting and more. Students completing this course will have a solid understanding of basic Linux skills. If you're taking a introduction to Linux class, I highly recommend you take the Udemy course. I will leave that description down below if you're interested. It helped me and it was free. I might even take it one more time before the class starts just because I took this Linux course almost a year ago online. So I probably already forgot everything because that's just how it works. If you go so long without using something in computer science, most of the time, more often than most, you will actually forget what you learned. It's just one of those things. It's just like learning a language. Like I studied Spanish for four years and now I can't speak any Spanish. So it's kind of like that. Okay, the next three classes are elective classes. So yeah, they're not related to my computer science degree, but they are essential. Um, so one of them is a personal finance class, also known as FIN 1050. It's also three credits and the description says it's the study Study of financial skills essential for economic success. Subjects are financial planning, financial services, income taxes, consumer buying, insurance, retirement planning, and estate planning. So I am actually taking this class because I'm one credit short from being eligible to fulfill my elective credits. I have a very limited list of classes I can take, so I can't just take any elective class I want. It's very specific, and honestly, there were maybe like a total of five options so it's kind of sucks I'm just one credit short I looked through all my options but that's the best I could do and especially since like this is a class I'm actually interested in okay there was one other class option that could fulfill the requirement I tried signing up for a web design class it's actually technically in the School of Arts not the School of Science and so I tried emailing the professor that teaches one of the classes and I tried uh, reaching out to him because I was like wow I have a lot of experience with like website mock-ups and like Photoshop and all that but the reason why I can take that class is because I didn't meet the elective requirement which is like a I don't know photography or Photoshop basics class but I don't want to take that class just to take that class like uh, I try to see if I can override because I'm definitely qualified in Photoshop I actually have a certificate and all that but the professor ended up never getting back to me we had a little bit of a conversation but then I don't know I guess he just gave up so unfortunately I'm not taking that class which is kind of a shame because at least it's related to my major but oh well um, I guess it's just not happening I'm gonna take personal finance instead but I'll let you know if anything changes so I chose personal finance because it's actually a really useful skill to have I'm surprised it's not required for everyone in America because the amount of Americans that are not financially stable is actually really jaw-dropping and especially me I'm 24 and I just started getting into personal finance I just started getting into investing and um, putting money towards my retirement and all that. Well, okay, I, I've been saving up money for retirement since I was 18, but um, like now I actually care about it. I'm trying to like see how I can maximize it and all that. So uh, yeah, money is actually really important, guys, for your future. It's really essential. So that's why I'm taking this class because I want to learn more. I mean, I already do a lot of self-independent study on the side. I read finance subreddits on Reddit. I also watch various YouTubers such as Gary. Gary Vee. He's not, a, I mean, he's kind of a finance YouTuber. He's more of like a motivational speaker, but he does a lot of videos about finance and like money tips and earning money. And uh, one of my personal favorites is also Graham Stephan. I watch a lot of his videos as well, but also my boyfriend makes YouTube videos as well. You should check him out. He's called Personal Finance Passport. I will leave the link down in the description if you want to check that out. And another person who influenced me to take this class is actually my brother because he is also a finance major or not also, he's the only person in my personal circle that has a finance major. Well, almost there. He's one semester away, but uh, he's gotten me into investing in stocks and all of that. So I guess if I'm ever stuck in the class, I can always just call him and ask him to help me out with it. So I definitely have resources and that's kind of what makes me feel better about this because I do spend a lot of my own personal time studying finance. When I was reading the reviews of this class, I definitely saw it's 
not an easy class, but it's not that hard of a class. So it's kind of in the middle. So, but I'm excited to take it anyways. Okay, another elective class I have to take is called Scientific Foundations of Human Nutrition, also known as HLTH 1020. So I know it's also not related to my major. Once again, another elective course that fulfills my life sciences requirements. So yeah, that's required. It's also three credits. And the description of this class is it introduces and applies basic nutrition concepts, fundamentals of human nutrition and its applications to a healthier lifestyle, evaluation and assessment of nutrition issues, which includes preventing nutrition related diseases. And this was the most interesting to me because I do a little bit of self-study on nutrition, but mostly because I actually follow a vegan diet. So I am researching a lot about like human nutrition, what's like what's needed and what certain chemicals do your body. But I think this class will teach me a lot more about that. So it's actually somewhat semi um, related to my personal life in a way. So I guess that's great. Um, and then this last elective class, like to be honest, I have no interest in this class at all. But once again, it's another required elective class that I have to take for my degree. And it's called Severe and Hazardous Weather, also known as ATMO 1010. So it fulfills my physical sciences requirement. It's also a three credit class and uh, the description says this course introduces the fundamentals of the atmosphere with a focus on severe and hazardous weather including impacts on human activities and the environment severe weather topics will be used to explore our dynamic atmosphere including hurricanes thunderstorms tornadoes snowstorms and more so yeah the main reason why I picked this class of oh, because there were actually a lot of classes I could take but I picked this class because I was honestly just reading the reviews on ratemyprofessor.org and this one looked like it was the easiest so that's really I just want I just want to get an A in that class that's all I care about um, okay so that's my class schedule for this semester I start classes in a few weeks so it's going to be really crazy I don't think I've ever taken a semester with so many classes so yeah yeah wish me luck I'm very nervous let me know if you are planning on taking a computer science degree that'll be very interesting we can maybe compare our schedules subscribe to uh, stay on top of my progress during the semester i'll be posting little videos throughout the semester just showing you guys like what i'm working on and all that thanks again for watching bye everyone